What's good fam? Rad Dad Cooks here. Today we're whipping up some chamoy. It's an amazing, super versatile Mexican condiment. It's practically medicine once you see what goes in it. We got some prunes, some dried apricots, some chili powder. You can really switch up the chili powder to make it as spicy or as mild as you'd like. We're going kind of middle of the road here. Some chamomile flowers. Some people use hibiscus or other types of herbal teas. We're gonna do the juice of two limes or whatever you need to get about a half a cup of fresh lime juice. And we're gonna sweeten it all up with some sugar. Let go. Start off by getting two cups of water boiling. We're gonna steep our flowers in that for five minutes. Put the lid on it, get it off the heat. You don't wanna oversteep this, so make sure that you set a timer because it'll get really astringent and lose a lot of its floral qualities. After five minutes, pour it over a strainer to get your liquid away from your flowers and rinse it with a cup of cold water. That way we get every little last drop of that goody good. Return your tea mixture back onto the heat, medium heat. We're gonna start adding the rest of our ingredients. We got a half a cup of apricots, a half a cup of those prunes. Prunes are just dried plums if you didn't know. I throw in our chili powder. We're going four tablespoons. You can add a little more, a little less, depending on your taste, but four is a great place to start. And then a quarter cup of that sweet stuff. Now we're gonna stir to combine all of our ingredients. And bring it up to a simmer over medium heat. Once we get up to a simmer, we're gonna let it cook on our stove top for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, slide it off the heat, let it chill out, and that way we can blend it up. Now you can do this in a blender if you'd like. I prefer a magic bullet. Magic bullet just has a way of pulverizing the living bejesus out of anything you put in it, and that's gonna give us that nice, smooth condiment texture that we are going for. Once you get everything into your bullet, Go ahead and add that half cup of lime juice into your pot and use a silicone spatula to scrape all of those last little bits off the bottom and the side of that pot. We don't want to waste a bit of this. Throw your bullet on the mixer stand. Give it a good 30 seconds or so. That should be long enough to get the consistency that we are going for. After 30 seconds is done, take a look. If it's a little too thick because your sauce reduced down a bunch, just add a little bit of water. It should look something like this. It's gonna make about two cups and you can store this in your fridge for around 72 hours. Now this can be used as a condiment or in a wide range of preparations. And if you don't know what to do with it, make sure you subscribe, ding that notification bell. That way you can find out every time I come out with a recipe that's using this good stuff. Thanks a lot, guys, and we will see you next time. Hi, Cabot, subscribe.